Hi guys, welcome to Simply Scuba. Here we have the Aqualung Small Squeeze Lock Knife in titanium. So as the name suggests, this is a titanium dive knife. Uh, let's take a quick look. Okay, so let's get 60 seconds on the clock. So for a 60 second review, this is a very smart dive knife. This is the Small Squeeze Lock Titanium. Um, I prefer titanium dive knives because they're very light, they're very strong, but most importantly, they never rust. So you don't have to worry about washing it uh, or sort of looking after it quite as thoroughly. It's a decent sized dive knife. Uh, you've got a decent sized handle on that and a sensible sized cutting edge because a modern recreational diver, you're really gonna come across like the odd bit of ghost gear or maybe some sort of underwater foliage that you might need to um, sort of free yourself from. So you don't need anything too excessive and uh, this kind of fits in that perfect Goldilocks. It's not too small that you're gonna be struggling to cut through anything, but it's not too big, that's gonna be cumbersome and weird. And um, because it has a few different mounting options, you can pretty much put it wherever you want to, uh, especially on a recreational BCD. So let's take a more in-depth look, uh, a much closer look at the small squeeze lock titanium. <laughs> Okay, so let's take a look and see what you actually get. So this is the box that it comes in. So this is kind of what will arrive at your front door. Uh, and then inside, if I just open her up, uh, obviously you get the knife itself uh, with a little bit of protection so it doesn't damage uh, sort of you or the packaging. You get the uh, the sheath and then you get some grommets so you can attach it to a BCD and, and that's it for the box. So take a look at the sheath first of all. So what we have here is a, uh, a sort of a plastic material. They'll probably have a fancy word for it. Um, but you've got a few different mounting options. The first one is you can sort of thread some, um, uh, some rubber straps so you can fit to an arm or a leg. Uh, so you can fit one in there and then one down at the uh, sort of lower down section. You've got this bit here. So that means that you can fit it over like standard two inch webbing and that's uh, sort of bolted down with a, a sort of cross headed um, sort of bolt or screw on that. So um, that way it's nice and secure. But what makes this different and what gives it the uh, the squeeze in its name is uh, is that when you actually sort of put the knife in, it locks in position because there's two um, sort of springs and this is built into the knife itself and that cannot come out unless you actually squeeze the knife itself and that releases that mechanism so that you can pull it out. <clears throat> So that's the sheath and yes, you've got these two little grommets uh, I should have mentioned and they're going to screw into those two grommet holes uh, and that way you can have it mounted onto a BCD if you've got those uh, sort of holes and they line up. So that's the sheath. Onto the knife itself. So the knife is made out of titanium, which is light. Uh, it's also very strong, uh, but more importantly, it's corrosion resistant. So you don't have to worry about it rusting. Um, with any steel knife, whether it's marine grade or whatever, if you, uh, if you don't keep it dry, it will rust. Titanium cannot rust. Um, so this is what it's called a, a spear tip. So it is pointed tip, so you do have to be a little bit careful about that uh, sort of point, especially if you're putting it back into a uh, sort of integrated BCD. Uh, but you've got um, sort of standard cutting edges down the, uh, the point on either side. You also have this serrated edge. So this is gonna be the primary cutting edge for sort of thicker lines and ropes. You also have a um, uh, line cutting notch. So for smaller things <clears throat> like uh, fishing line, if you don't want to use like the entire cutting edge, you can just get it trapped in there and uh, and just sort of pull it tight and that will sort of cut through smaller lines. You also have this section here, which is quite handy for uh, sort of levering and uh, sort of tightening stuff. But uh, again, just bear in mind that you've got a bladed object in your hand as you're turning it. The handle itself has got some decent textured uh, sort of grip on that. So even if you're wearing gloves, you can uh, sort of get a beard attraction on that. A bit of a stopper as well, so that when you're holding it and as uh, you're sort of doing some kind of sawing motion, it's less likely that your hand's gonna slip onto the cutting edge. And you also have a, um, this sort of lanyard loop because the, um, the metal of the blade goes the full tang. It goes all the way down to, um, uh, to the bottom, a really secure sort of strong uh, mounting point so you can attach a lanyard onto it. Um, so let's take a look and see who the, um, who the squeeze knife is for. 
Okay, so who is the small squeeze titanium for? Um, so this is really for the um, more of a recreational diver who doesn't want to worry too much about their knife from um, from sort of rusting. When I first got a dive knife, I got a steel one and uh, I forgot to wash it in between dives and it just rusted really quickly. With titanium, you never have to worry about that. So this can be mounted pretty much anywhere, um, primarily on BCDs, but you can uh, sort of attach it onto uh, sort of webbing straps on a waistband, a bit more like a uh, sort of advanced diver. It is gonna stick a little bit higher up um, compared to uh, sort of what a traditional DIR diver wants, but, um, but it's titanium, so you never have to worry about it. It's very, very lightweight, so if you're traveling a lot, um, it's a decent sensible size. It's not ridiculously sized, um, but you do still have a decent uh, to the handle so that you can grab hold of it and cut through thinner lines. So it's a very practical knife. The only thing that I'd probably change is that I'd uh, sort of probably change that to a chisel tip and uh, sort of blunt in that section uh, if I was uh, redesigning it. But actually, yeah, it's got everything that you need um, for a modern scuba diver. So yeah, I think anybody can uh, sort of be happy with the, uh, the small squeeze, especially in the titanium. And that's the Aqualung Small Squeeze Lock Knife in Titanium. Uh, if you're a manufacturer and you want us to do this type of review for your dive equipment, then uh, of course just send us a sample over to the uh, the address listed down in the description below. And uh, if you're just a customer and you were sort of thinking about a certain piece of dive equipment and you're a bit undecided, you don't know whether you want to buy it or whether it is for you, and you want to see this type of video on that dive equipment, then just ask the manufacturer see if they can send us a sample again listed in the description below and uh, and yeah we'll do a review a video review basically going over the product and everything that you get with it so that you can make a better decision whether you want to buy it or not uh, as always thank you for watching and safe diving we are an online dive store serving the UK and the world for all your diving equipment needs so why not visit us at simplyscuba.com or click the box on your screen